I'm the guy that got a year of detention for the biggest prank in high school history. I didn't do it, but I kinda know who did. Some lunatic called Rad Circles. There's been bad days, like nearly getting sanitized by the principal's personal cleaners, and good, like finding Rad Circles' phone. But that turned bad when I found out it's password protected. And then, the really bad day. Watching my secret crush get kissed by the son of the world's biggest action hero. Ouch. How about a really good day sometime? Like getting Tina back, cracking this phone, and busting rad circles once and for all. At 4.15, detention gets out. But that's not important right now. I have to get Rad Circle's phone back before it's destroyed, or I'll never find out who framed me. <laughs> <laughs> Needs to be big! Real big! What's with the half-hearted bro fist, they say? Is this about Brad totally mooing, mooing, mooing Tina last Friday? <laughs> Oh, it is. Sorry, Holmes. Yo! Yo, what's with the free haircut? Whoa! Okay, I'm tying it. Man, first Barrage's robot cleaners go crazy. Now his iBot is busting me for an untied shoe? Dude, not iBot. iBotses, bro. iBot had babies? Hey, that bubble was worth more than your life. Okay, I'm going. Man, what is up? Morning, Enigma. I'm Chaz Monteranian, and that's right, I rock. <sighs> I'm Tina Quee, and in case no one's noticed, we're being watched everywhere. Could this have something to do with Barrage's cleaners turning out to be malfunctioning robots? Or is it all part of a lockdown for the school inspector's visit today? Hey! So not cool! We're students, not prisoners, and we demand... Hey! Listen up, you wallaby foghorns! These are perfectly normal security precautions for school inspector Blumpkin's visit. So, let's put on our best poppy prancing smiles and impress our dear inspector Blomkins. Oh! and with the following students report to detention. Now! Porga has detention! Whoopee! <laughs> Any luck cracking the password? Pretty sure the first number's either a one or a seven. And hey, don't let people see you talking to me. Rep to protect here. <laughs> Unfriendly, odd, loner. Don't worry, I think everyone gets that. El Prez can't get detention, okay? It's a school rule, fool! My followers will be mucho outraged! Hi, fellas. Tossed in the old slammer again, huh? Any plans for a Li Ping high stakes style breakout? Oh! <gasps> so, Teen Bean, on a scale of 1 to 11, how would you rate our first kiss? Brad, um, I, well, I, I don't think we really need to rate it, do we? No, but if we did, was it movie star quality? Leading man material? Uh... Cause if it was off, it wasn't my fault. The ambiance was horrible. The lighting, amateur hour. And don't even get me started about that chlorine smell. How is getting lip balm from my locker a crime? Ugh, still smells like loser in here. Still smells like loser in here. That's original. Oh, newsflash? Saying that's original isn't original. Well, if it isn't my favorite people in the whole wide wiggly world, Donkey Shine. Ooh. We know what's going on. You want to keep us hidden because you're afraid we'll tell the inspector that your robot cleaners put the entire student body in jeopardy. Everybody sit down and stay quiet, boys. Ah! Troublemakers, locked up. School, sanitized. Teachers, teach in. Impressive, but isn't locking up students during class a tad harsh? It's not like a good brain wants them into being good. Wait, or can I? <clears throat> Principal Barrage. Uh, Superintendent Blomkins, 
You're early! It's an honor to- Spare me the fripple frapple, yes? Good. Shall we get on with this? Cleanliness is above satisfactory, but you obviously have someone watching your back. Yes, Vice Principal Victoria? Lip balm? Sure, I'll bring you some. Unacceptable! You allow students to use communication devices during school hours? <laughs> of course not! Right, Missy? I need that back to call my lawyer. <laughs> I like the strengths of your character. Who is this, please? Brandy Silver, one of our model students, of which there are many. Very good. Then she can show me around school, uh. yes? Students give a more honest impression. Principals sometimes hide their bad eggs in detention. Miss Silver, take me there first. Take the slow route through the back hall, got it? An extra geography credit might make me take you more seriously. Oh, fine! Right this way. And can I just say, those clogs are fab. Where did you get them? You have to tell me. Coward and niblets! The plant's gone loop de loo Lieutenant, follow them while I commence operation immediate evac. Yes, Principal Barrage, try to stay calm. Take your stress out on this. Rockins obviously despises phones, so we might want to confiscate them for the day, at least until you pass inspection. Don't you agree, Mr. Principal? Agree. It just doesn't add up. It should have been leading man material, unless... I'm not the star of this show. No way. Ping, you were there when I saved the world. When my leading lady and I had our big movie kiss, did you feel it? Were there fireworks? I'm not sure it was big enough for our kiss debut. It was fine, Brad. Now could fine? you- Fine? That's it? Okay, we're totally gonna have to reshoot that scene. Tina, can I talk to you? Listen up! This is the code 115. We are moving locations. Effective now. You can't keep us silent. And you can't move us anywhere you want whenever you feel like it. Can and will and am. Oh, have you seen this? I've seen a few walls in my day. We were going to paint a mural here. Ah, but you didn't. No. But if we did, it'd be the perfect spot, right? Oh! Wow, Dad, I should have talked to you first. Okay, so for the big kiss, you have to... Mm-hmm, mints, okay, got it. Lip balm, yep. Debonair swagger. Wait, a rainstorm? Huh? The far entrance is permitted! All phones are to be relinquished! So if we don't want to give up our phones, can we stay out here? No, Brad Circle's phone. <sighs> I should have known you'd try to break the rules. Hand it over. Oh, that's my keychain. It has 101 different sound effects. Fake phone ring, auga horn, and of course, my personal favorite. Yeah. Yo, Holga, Holga. Ouch. Sup, losers. Looking for this? Yeah, thanks. What an ugly phone. I might consider returning it after I call Brandy to tell her to bring my lip balm over here. Oh. What's your password? Dork, right? Hey! How do you spell that? Oh, just give me that! Oh, this just gets better. Barrage did say no phones, so maybe I'll just hand it over to the local authorities. Oh, this is how you're gonna play it, huh? Why not? I'm bored and there's nothing left to do. Okay, so what if someone gets you the lip balm that you've been crying about, huh? Whatevs. Hulg, lip balm? Then keep an eye on that phone. I'll see if I can scare some up. Hiya, Chief. Is admission time yet? Got any lip balm? No, why? Hmm. 
Looks like I have something you both want. Well, I also want something. A soothing pedicure. What? No, there is no way that I am... French finish, Persian tips, or Paraguayan penny hovings? You carry pocket lint, straws, bottle caps, but no lip balm? I don't carry pocket lint, yo. It just builds up in there. And this bottle cap says try again, so it's like a tiny pep talk. Dude, if you need lip balm, try asking Tina. But she's with... Ugh, fine. But come with me. I might just lose it on that guy. Pretty crazy detention thing we got going on. Replace crazy with illegal, and yeah, I totally agree. She's right. And while you're at it, replace illegal with crazy right. Well, my lips are dry, and I need some lip balm. Uh, Tina, I figured you'd have some. Why? Because I'm a girl? <laughs> Not all females are obsessed with looks. Yeah, <laughs> what kind of a shallow person carries lip balm with them? Hey, Tina Bobina, you seem upset. Hey, psst, I got the lip balm. You what? You do? Awesome. But in return, I need a breath mint. I need a take two on that Hollywood kiss. How about you just give me the lip balm? No way. I know what's going on. You think you're the star of this ride? Well, let me tell you something, pal. You ain't. You're on the Brad Von Chilstein Action Express, and Tina is my leading lady. Now get me that mint, and maybe I'll give you the balm. Thanks, man. Okay, happy? Now give me the phone. Do you have the appointment? Oh, <laughs> what? Is he your secretary too? <gasps> ja, also astrologist, cupcake chef, snake charmer, and poison tester. Personally, I think he's trying to trick me out of this ugly phone too. Do Biffy next. And that was the ant farm. Yes, I never did understand why they're called ant farms. <gasps> So ants aren't farming anything. They, they should be called ant tunnels. <laughs> ant tunnels. Ah! 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 Ant tunnels. Barrage. Are you spying on us? Spying? Me? No, no. That's what the iBots are for. So the iBots are spying on us. Ant tunnels. <laughs> ant there's a portable on the grounds, yes? I would like to see that next. <gasps> if I was a mint, whose mouth would I be in? Exactly, yo. You gotta think like a breath mint to, like, catch a breath mint. What's with all the sneaking around? Up to Lee Ping spy stuff? Totally, bro. What of it? I knew it! We need a breath mint. You got one? Breath mint? Why would I need that when Green Apple Splat also has delicious smelling after breath? <laughs> oh! Mmm, happily. What'd you have for breakfast, dude? Tuna and pickerel omelet, of course. Eyes and snouts this way, people! Our location has been compromised! We're moving out! Oh, man, not again. Ow. Remain here until further notice. Steve, my favorite basket shoe player. Can I score a breath mint? Sorry, dude. Only one left, and I got a big date after school. How about a trade? Your last breath mint for a basketball? Sure. <sighs> okay, plan B. We got a plan B, right? I could pick it if I had a pin. Lock picking? Wow, Mr. Ping, is there anything you can't do? I'm not even gonna ask, but thanks. Hey, how'd that get there? Floating eye, Holmes! <laughs> Got it. Ratio of toilet water to flush, satisfactory. Now, I'd like to inspect the gym to make sure everything's fixed since <clears throat> the prank. Do you know the student that committed such a thing? Lee Ping? No, nope, never heard of him. <laughs> the gym! Oh, there! It's Jim Daddy Doodle Andy! Oh, I've got one small problem. It's being fumigated for butterflies. Butterflies? Sure, they may look pretty, but they're deadly creatures. 
always flying around, perching on people's shoulders, chewing holes in sweaters. It's nothing but trouble. <clears throat> Those are moths. That's what they want you to think. Ridiculous. Now show me the gym immediately. Okay, you've had your fun. Now hand over the flippin' phone already! Just a sec. Holger, I'm bored. Entertain me. Now it's time for Holger to reenact exciting tale of the mighty Flesher Spears battle with the Gefluken. Ooh, oh. Got your lip balm. Oh, hey, the Flesher Spears story? I love this part. <laughs> Ew, like I'm actually gonna use someone else's lip balm. Gross much? Oh, come on! Hand it over! Oh, extra sensitive today. Fine, you can have your ugly phone back. But Holger has to entertain me until this is over. Huh? It's not here. Ha ha, nice one. Hand it over. No, seriously, it was in this pocket. Someone here stole it. What? No, wait! The butterflies! What are all these students doing? Superintendent Blumpkins, thank goodness you found us! The principal was... Is that what I think it is? A communication device? Phone? <laughs> no, that's a butterfly mating call. I must have missed one. <laughs> a rainstorm. This is it. Big epic kiss. Take two and roll. <gasps> Students kissing, phones in school, consider yourself on notice. This is your one warning. I shall return in exactly four days. And if I find even one infraction, you are kaput, fired! Wait, you never told me where you got your clogs. It's obeying a direct order. You can't control your urges to yap. Well then, maybe I can't control my urge to destroy things. Next stop, the furnace room. No. Since dudes like gone, can we like go? No. Abbott, no one leaves. And watch Ping. I'm sure he had something to do with this. Guys! I'm sorry. Really? That was you that had my phone. Why'd you steal it? I may have a small stealing problem, but I'm working on it. Don't you find it odd that both times Rad's phone rang was when it shouldn't have? Whoever it is, they're in here right now. Good point. But right now, you gotta get that phone back. Okay, guys, first off, leave Ed alone. I know stealing sucks and all, but if we want to get our phones back, I'm gonna need everyone's help. Go on. Okay, flabby worms, let us do the jumping jacks and make your muscles go to healthy fun fun town. <laughs> Never a dull moment with Lee Ping. If you think he's action-packed, you should see me in motion. Why are you following me? I'm your sidekick. Sidekick ahoy! And I'm the hero. So technically, you're my sidekick, and you should be following me. Lee, let me get up front. There's no time. Just come on. <laughs> <laughs> Needs to be big! Real big! What's the plan now, Chief? I don't, I don't know. know. Uh, I say we McSlam him. Hard! Are you crazy? He's half robot. Brad, you go down. Sneak around to those supplies. Knock him over, then rush out the door. Got it? No way am I the decoy. Decoy doesn't get first billing. And plus, I want to be the one to hand back all the phones. Fine, I'll create the distraction. You guys get those phones. Leave it to us, Gus. Now that's a fire. I wish I brought marshmallows. <laughs> huh? Halt! He 
Goo goes there. <laughs> you kids really love your phones, don't you? Well then, you're really gonna hate this. You have the honor of tossing them all in the fire. <laughs> Li Ping, what are you doing out of Barrage's lockdown? Uh, bathroom break? It's terrible what Barrage is doing with everyone's phones. Parents are going to be furious. Hopefully I can make up for that. One of our school sponsors has donated these. I don't think they're even available to the general public yet. Can you take these to your friends and give them each one and express the school's sincerest apology? Uh, totally. Cool. Thanks. Nice moves, little buddy. We're still back where we started cracking Rad's phone. I know, but... Whoa, whoa, incoming message. From Rad. Knock, knock. Hello? Yeah, yeah, who's there? Seven. Seven who? That's it. Just seven. As in the first number of the password. Since watching you try to figure it out is like... <sighs> watching paint dry. Oh. Later, buddy. And thanks for trying to crack it. So, Brad, the hero gets the girl? Well, we'll just have to see about that. Because this movie ain't over yet.